So today we're going to install this uh, reverse camera in my Navara. Um, we've already installed the head unit, which I'll link up um, just there if you want to watch that one. Um, yeah, this will just help reverse in at those shopping car parks, just that little bit easier. Um, so we'll go to the bench, open it up and see what's included and kind of, I guess, form a game plan on where to go from there. Here is the reverse camera here. So we're just so you can use, uh, I think, pretty much any brand reverse camera. They're all pretty much the same. There's a little user manual there. Um, what's in here? Oh, so there you go. There's the actual reverse camera there. Um, and then obviously, here's all the wine. There's also, what's in this little box? Hole saw. I'm guessing this is exactly what that says. Hole saw to drill in, yep. Um, to get that nice hole, I guess, for the uh, little camera there. Um, I'm not too sure exactly where um, on the Navara we're gonna mount the actual camera, um, but we'll bring the Navara in and um, kind of suss it out from there. Okay, so I've just sussed out the wiring here, so I'll just um, take you through it for this specific uh, reverse camera. I'm guessing it's probably gonna be the same for most reverse cameras you can get, um, but pretty much, um, there's three little kind of wiring um, bits you get with it. The first one is this huge long one. One end, you've got your RC, uh, RCA connector that goes into the back of the head unit. It has this red wire that comes off it, and this is actually your, uh, your 12 volt reverse uh, signal. Um, it does say in the instructions that some head units may not need it. Um, I'm pretty sure mine does, and this is pretty much when you throw it into reverse, um, it'll then get the signal and on the head unit, it'll auto um, put the feed to your reverse camera. So I definitely want to do that um, so we don't have to keep, you know, pressing the reverse um, camera in the actual head unit every time we go into reverse. We just want it to auto come on. So that is the head unit side. And if you move over, there's obviously heaps of wiring to go all the way out to the back of the car. Comes to the other side. Now this is just the other side of it. You get your RCA connector and also the red wire, which is still the same uh, 12 volt reverse signal. Um, then you've got uh, this connector, which um, pretty much um, this one, this RCA will plug into this side. So I actually got this wrong in the video, but these two wires here are the red and the black. You just have to wire them to a constant power and ground. So just an ignition positive and negative. And then you come through to this little plug here, which focuses. Then we come down, this is the camera side you can see here. Um, and this plug actually just plugs into here. Um, so that connects there. Um, got a bit more wire in there to trace it as far as you want. And then you've got the camera. Uh, which you'll mount somewhere. Um, that's how the wiring for this one works. I'm guessing it's probably going to be pretty much the same for most um, reverse cameras you get on the market as well. Um, so I think first of all we'll go to the back of the head unit, wire these in, and we'll most likely as well also have to um, figure out the reverse signal. So we're in the car now. Um, we obviously have to take all this um, kind of fascia off. Um, to get access to the back of the, um, the head unit there. Um, we've got our wiring as well. And to do this in just the D22 Navara, um, it's pretty simple. You've just got two little screws here and then it's pretty much just all clips. So you take those screws off and it just pops straight off. Now when it comes to popping off the fascia, if you've got a trim removal tool, um, try use that just because it doesn't mark up um, any of the fascia. If you don't have any of these, you can just use a, a flathead screwdriver that does the same trick. Uh, just be careful, you can scuff it up a fair bit. So you can see the head unit is taken just put down here so you can see all the wiring, stuff like that. Um, for my particular head unit that I've got, um, for the RCA uh, reverse camera, point in, there actually is no plug on the back of this. Um, yours may have it, and in that case, you just plug it straight in. Um, although this one that I've got in the packet just came with this cord here, um, if it focuses on it, and you can see this one, RCA cord, rear view camera in. So this plug just plugs into there, and then our RCA will just go into here, like so, 
and if you remember this will be just the ground other uh, reverse signal wire that will just have to plumb in to this bad boy here which says reverse to connect um, this little red wire here uh, to the reverse um, on the back of the head unit you can see here it's just got a usual uh, little normal cr uh, crimp connector um, what I'm actually going to do I'm going to actually snip this one off um, and do an actual plug for you look here just a, a Deutsch connector um, you don't have to do it this way you can just crimp it like normal uh, I'm just going to do a actual plug just so I can actually unplug it at a later date um, so there's a bit more you know rechangeability or reversibility to it um, but yeah crimp or even a solder join would be fine just for that so uh, we'll get on to just putting the plug on and um, yeah then it's just really just tracing this wire all the way out to the back um, where the camera will go Okay, so I've just connected the uh, wires and the Deutsch connector there um, and I've just put all the wires together because I'm just going to test see if it works. Now it did take me a while to test it so if you, I mean this one's really long, um, I've plugged RCA in there, um, there's one of the red ones there um, and it goes all the way down into the camera there. So, okay. um, and what I've got here is just a battery jump starter which just can supply uh, 12 volts and I've just connected on the obviously the black is just the ground and what I actually also figured out is there's these two red wires I actually thought that they would connect together um, and then later down the line one of them would connect to the uh, positive reverse but it actually turns out they're separate they're not to go to the same source so um, we've got this one here which is permanent power or accessory power so when you turn the car and this one is to go to the reverse so if we turn on to accessories um, so I've got both these connected now if you can see that one um, and so boot it up and so it doesn't go to reverse camera because it's not sensing a 12 volt in this wire here um, from the reverse but if you go oops um, you can go to the camera view Um, and if we supply power, there we go, that one's working there. And then also, if we go out, so we just go to the radio section, this is the reverse signal. As soon as we put power to it, you can see it jumps over to the reverse, and then when we take it off, it goes away. So now we know the wiring and that it is actually working, we can then start routing the wires and figuring out um, yeah, where we want the, the power and ground to go. Um, realistically, these to power and ground we can actually just get the power and ground here close to the head unit which will be easy because there's lots of obviously wires where we can tap from and then the reverse signal we'll probably get from the rear uh, one of the tail lights uh, which is probably the easiest way of going about it so for these wires that has the accessory constant uh, power and then the ground i've decided rather than um, tracing the wires i'll actually get the power from the back of the head unit um, just because it's really easy and accessible. Um, I've actually just got some leftover wiring that um, I had laying around. We've used this uh, for power and ground and we'll trace that out the back with this other wiring. And the reason being is this, the power and ground, the constant power uh, and ground for the camera, the wiring's actually right next to the camera. Um, and for a ute, there's actually no accessory power out the back. There is your headlight, uh, your tail light, um, you know, your indicators, that kind of stuff, but that's obviously only getting power once, uh, you, you know, you step on the brake and all that kind of stuff. So um, it's gonna be hard to find wiring out there, if, if any, I think. Um, so we'll just do this now, make it a lot easier later on. If you're doing this in like an SUV or a regular car, um, you know, at the boot, you've got your, you know, your little accessory light when you open the boot, that kind of stuff, which um, means you could use that easy as, but yeah, because it's a ute, um, it just makes it a bit harder so we've wired those in here just um, tapped into the back and yeah now we'll start tracing the wires out to the back so i've gone ahead and traced the wires down the actual center console and kind of over the little glove box kind of compartment out of the way 
Uh, we've got the wires just here. Um, I've also taken off this um, kind of four floor um, trim part. I'm not too sure what it's called. Um, just so we can lift the carpet up just a little bit. There's actually already factory wiring and harnesses through there. So we'll just follow those wires uh, with these ones. Um, I've also buttoned up the um, center console, put everything back together. I haven't put the screws back in just in case something doesn't work and we can just easily get back to it. But um, that's pretty much that side of it, I think is practically done. So it's just, yeah, tracing the wires out the back. So we'll um, yeah, keep going with the wires and um, yeah, tracing along through the carpet. So I've traced the wires all the way back to just behind the back seat here. Um, and I've just tried to look around just to see how we can get the wires through on the back here and kind of underneath the tray. Um, I've tried to look for some just OEM like factory wiring and some grommets or something like that. Can't seem to find it anywhere. So unfortunately, I think we have to drill through the, uh, the back here. So what I'm just gonna do is just behind the seat, just do a little hole um, just for the wires to pass through and then go underneath the, um, the cab. Drilled the hole, traced the wires through. I've just got a little bit of a hose there just to protect the wires. Um, and then what I'm gonna do is just get some silicon and seal around um, that there just so there's no water coming in or anything like that. Um, so now we can go down. The wires just droop, droop straight to the ground at the moment. So we'll just then start wiring them underneath the uh, cab there and out the back and get onto mounting the camera. So you can probably tell um, the camera might be a bit shaky. I'm under the car now. Probably could jack it up, give me a bit of extra space, but I can't be bothered. Um, you can see behind me, ugh, you can see those, if you focus on it red wires are just dripping down there. So I'll have to just look up there. And I've got a load of zip ties that we'll just try and um, hook up and um, yeah, just trace the line through the, uh, the cab here underneath. And obviously staying away from any moving, moving parts or anything that's a bit hot, um, anything like that. So um, yeah. So I've kind of gone ahead and just uh, wired all the wiring, um, just tracing it through under, under the uh, underbody of the tray. Um, and I've also just mounted the camera as well because it is getting dark, so I thought I'd just smash and get it done. Um, so I'll show you what I've done. Um, don't mind the uh, sausages fighting. Uh, so I've, I don't know if you can see here, I've just mounted the uh, reverse camera there. That should be all good. Um, and so, Grab the light as well. Sorry if the footage is a bit uh, how you're going, but you can kind of see the wire there, traces it back all the way. I found some other wiring um, just out the back here that I've just mounted it to. Um, and then pretty much, oh, it's kind of hard to show underneath the car, but it just traces kind of along, um, just on the other side of the wheel, um, just along the um, kind of the chassis rail um, and goes and then up to where you see it was just in here. So yeah, the back is kind of done. I hope you could kind of see, it's a bit hard to show uh, with the camera, um, but yeah, it's pretty much just tracing it around all the stuff, trying to get it away from an exhaust or, you know, your shocks and moving parts like that. Um, also wired in the, um, the reverse light as well. I just found the actual loom for the reverse, or for the actual tail light, and I found the re reverse light in there, um, positive for that one. So I've just tapped into that one and so now we just go and test it and it should still be all good. Um, fingers crossed, because I don't want to get under the car again. There's this one, camera view. Oh, yeah, there, oh, there's one of the dogs. Do notice it's upside down, so we'll have to, on the actual lens, you can actually just turn it. So we'll turn that, um, but we'll just check as well. We'll just check if it goes into reverse. Yep, awesome, there we go. So this you can actually rotate it so just sit you down for a sec try 
try this. That is beautiful. So if I bring you over here, uh, bring you back into the cab there, you can see it's all nice and upright. And you can see the tow bar nice and center. A little doggos in the back as well. So that's all done and uh, yeah, installed. So it's in wired up and working great. So this uh, Navara can um, reverse with a camera, which is uh, nice and handy, especially I don't drive utes that often, so it's hard to judge where exactly the tow bar is. And especially if you if you tow a lot, it's nice. Like especially the the position I have it at, where it's looking down at the tow bar. Uh, I'm, I haven't towed anything yet, but I'm sure it'll make it a lot easier lining that tow bar up. Um, but yeah, it took a lot longer than I thought, to be honest. Um, it took me all day, and I thought it'd probably take me only like a two hour kind of job, but uh, it was mainly just trying to figure out how to wire the wires or tracing the wires through the car um, in a nice and clean manner so don't, they don't get caught on anything. And especially under the, uh, um, the uh, what do you call it, the tray, and just trying to keep it away from moving parts like your uh, shocks and stuff like that as well as your exhaust because you don't want to melt the wires either so but yeah it's, it's all done uh working great um if you enjoyed this video hit the like button comment down below and subscribe if you haven't otherwise we'll see you in the next video of project b